Excellent. And uh, what are your kind of signature moves and finishing moves? Um, quite like Michinoku Driver, that's one of my favourites. Yeah. Um, quite like a fisherman suplex. Um, anything suplexy really, I quite like, quite enjoy them. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so when did you start training to become a wrestler then? I started training in 2009. Yeah. Um, I started training with Justin Richards at the Justin Richards School of Wrestling. Yeah. And I was quite fortunate because I trained with uh, John Ritchie as well. Oh, wow. I did a bit with Mike Scurll. Yeah, yeah. I've, done, I've done quite a bit of training with quite a people. What kind of what inspired you to get into wrestling then? Is it a particular event, a particular wrestler or...? Oh, I used to love, obviously we all love watching wrestling when we were kids. Yeah. Um, I was sure when I was at college I did 10 matches in the cafeteria and got beat up. <laughs> yeah. um, I was doing um, mixed martial arts, doing some professional fighting now. Oh, quite right. well. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, um, it's not the sort of job you can do and then go work the next day. It's quite brutal on your body. Yeah, yeah. So a friend of mine suggested that I try out wrestling. He took me to um, a little boxing ring and his friends were trying out. And we just had a little roll around, they talked a few bits and I really enjoyed it. So I thought, yeah, I can do this. I'll do it like that. Yeah, so um, has wrestling always been a passion of yours or is it really just something that's kind of evolved then? Um, it's actually something that's evolved. When I was a young kid, um, yeah. I used to watch it with my dad um, yeah. and then all the way up to like, my mid-late teens. I really enjoyed it. And then, Unfortunately, just where you grow out of it, I've been able to do it, and then it's sort of just started coming back, and that's a real part of my life. Alright, and um, did you have any particular inspirations, like wrestling wise? Has you got a favourite wrestler? or? Yeah, I suppose so. Um, Chris Jericho is a, a big influence of mine. When I started watching uh, wrestling again, yeah. something of the character I wanted to do, he was the sort of character I wanted to be because he's just so influential in wrestling and he's very good. Yeah. Uh, more recently, it's probably have to be someone like Danny Bryan. Okay, uh, so yeah. He's, he's, a WWE. he's very technical as well, isn't he? Which he is, is kind of, yeah. yeah he he is. Is. I, I love Harry Meeks' dad, Jeff Kelly, he was a show, which was very good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously, he was a much better wrestler, as you would say, when he was in his indie stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he's also... Cool. Um, do you have any favourite matches? Um, and this could be yourself as well and like a... Um, actually my favourite matches would be an FCW match between uh, Loki and Daniel Bryan. Right, okay, Daniel yeah. Bryan made his debut, you might have seen that one. Yeah. Uh, it was amazing because they're both really, really excellent wrestlers and that's yeah. really good fun. Oh, no. uh, and another one would be uh, a girl wrestler, Kana, she's from Japan. Right. Um, and she wrestled with her his name now. Uh, I've got his name. He wrestled with Barry Jason's guy, but he's basically a really big Japanese guy and they did like a really funny comedy match. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's his name? Kikitaru. That's the one. Yeah. Um, and he was awesome. They did an awesome match. Kikitaru was awesome. He's like the art of wrestling without wrestling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Um, just like, um, obviously aside from yourself, who are the kind of like talents to watch out for, like, uh, in the British talents? I mean. Oh, there are, now there are so many. When I first started, I didn't know anyone, and now I'm fortunate enough to work with wrestlers like this. Yeah. There are so many good wrestlers. Uh, my favourites will have to be, um, oh, I think, yeah. he's, he's such a talent, he's unbelievable. Uh, be Marty and Zach, they're amazing. Um, Jimmy, who always puts on a good show, Jimmy Havoc. Um, it's hard, because there are so many. Uh, Anyone, anyone who's on the FPW show basically, and <laughs> anyone who's in like Progress or Lucha Britannia, those guys, you yeah. see uh, Will behind me, he's an awesome talent, he's definitely a name to look out for, he's in TNA soon, I imagine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, just Greg Burridge, obviously, he's the man, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Um, just kind of one final thing, um, with the kind of British wrestling scene, I mean obviously you were saying like a while ago, you know, you didn't really know many of the names, and kind of now it's progressed into more kind of names floating about now. Yeah. What do you think it needs to kind of um, get back to the kind of mainstream maybe, or improve um, its product if, if needs be? I think it just needs, it needs less of the, perhaps the littler kind of avenues doing what they're doing to let people come to the more bigger shows. But perhaps it just needs that TV deal where it's a good quality company on TV doing a regular thing where, you know, we've got fans like we have at FPW, that would probably bring us forward. But with the free TV channels at the moment, you've got some really good wrestling on there, yeah. like CW, they were very, very good. Yeah. And unfortunately, you haven't got so many good ones. So it's kind of like, I think we just need to band together more as, a, as an industry, but unfortunately, where there's money involved in that. Yeah. Excellent, thank you very much, Terry. Cheers, yeah. thanks.